day 10 of the Yes We Care Roadshow. Today we're in Levin before we're heading up to Whanganui. As we've been setting up, I've been chatting to a few locals about how underfunding has been affecting their health care. the long waits for everything. These huge gaps, huge issues, especially in aged care, especially in disability yeah. and residential yeah. care. What is it the impacts of what having on patients' care, especially for the elderly in the community? Yeah. Smaller health services are struggling to provide the services Kiwis require because the funding is based on population rather than need. 70% of the 2,000 patients at Cast Glove Health are high needs. Uh, they have greater issues they have to work around and this has resulted in our medical practice increasing their fees by 50%. And we hear this from government, that we should be working in our communities, stopping us going into our hospitals. But the problem is that the funding in the grassroots isn't sufficient. It's out here in the regions that we're really seeing the effects of the centralisation of our health services. People are needing to travel long distances to get the health care they need. The services uh, for treatment for cancer patients in Wanganui um, are no longer available. And so patients have to travel to Palmerston North or the Hutt for treatment. The government is not funding the services that people in Wanganui need. Health funding is a big issue. It's not just one political party's problem. It is a problem that we need to look at and see what is the best we can do for our people within New Zealand. Find out more at yeswecare.nz.